Hello, this is Flickwit from Pocket Band Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you the insides of a track. It's going to be on Pocket Band Lite. Uh, well, this is the main screen. You should know how it looks. Um, you press the plus song button, tap on the newly created song. As you can see, it's all empty. Normally you would see rows of loops on the left and here you would see um, the play order. So um, what we have here are in total six buttons. This is uh, to change the song properties. You can change the name, the tempo, the time signature and the audio quality. When you're on a, a low bandwidth connection, it's best to keep on 22. If you're on Wi-Fi, you can put everything on maximum. Unless if your Wi-Fi is really slow, of course. Um, you have the collaboration button. If you activate this, you can invite other members to join uh, the song, but we'll look into this later. The master button. You can choose to have no mastering, uh, choose one of the three presets. Try to do it manually, you can add a compressor and an EQ device. If you're not uh, pro, then you cannot add the EQ. Uh, also, you can change the volume of the uh, entire outcome of the sound. So all the devices combined, for each loop, you can change the volume in one go or separately. Um, well, we'll add a loop. Then we have, again, the collaboration button. Uh, properties of the loop. You can name the loop, you can set the bass note. Uh, you can again change the tempo here. Add devices. We have the arpeggiator, uh, drums, synthesizer, the modulator and the recording device. Um, I will show you what these things can do. Uh, let me first put it the way I like it to be. Just changing the tempo and changing the audio quality and changing the mastering settings. Um, it's a keyboard. You can choose uh, which type of sound you want to use. Let's in this case use what would be easy, this. And you can set how high the bass notes are. Okay. This is how I want it to play. So, this is uh, the first note that will play. This is the second note. This is uh, the way that these notes will be activated. So, first one, second one, third one, and so on. This is uh, the way uh, the format of play that is used. You can choose any one. I'm going to keep it on the first one and you can experiment with the other ones because the melody will change once you choose a, a different one. You have the channel options which can also be reached if you go here. You can change the reverb, delay, uh, panning. Uh, panning can be set manually. You can do it like this or keep it fixed. Same goes for the volume, dynamic or fixed. Uh, 
this I will show you when we have uh, the pro version explanation you can add effects certain ones are not available on light uh, we have the compressor which controls uh, the outcome of the sound uh, delay which uh, controls the echo flanger which does uh, a form of morphing of the sound chorus uh, adds more depth and echo to the sound tube distortion uh, well it adds uh, distortion tremolo um, how would I explain that um, it changes uh, the sound into um, well let's give a quick look or no that's not I'll just do this another time explain the effects well there are a, a range of effects the EQ phaser reverb auto wah tremolo tube distortion chorus flanger delay and compressor and let's see what this does now the way I put it it's going to be one bar which means that this one the way it looks will be repeated 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 and just go on and on and on and on you can add uh, more like two bars if you want to have two different ones you can do it like this and so on let's listen how this sounds Well, this sounds pretty nice, doesn't it? And you can add extra sounds like a drum actually while it's playing. It's going to be a bit of dubstep. And available. Mm -hmm. press. If when you press this one, it's going to render. You can add uh, effects here as well and control them here. I'm going to give more details about this later on. Right, nice. For each uh, song that I'm going to use here, I'm going to publish them, probably. Oh, oops. And then you'll be able to have a look inside as well. Uh, so I'm just going to name it PB Light Zero One. Press this one again because otherwise it won't be saved. Look, I'm just going to show you what that said. It says no loop selected in current cursor which means that there's nothing here so I can do it like this this will make it run once two times three times or four times I'm just gonna press rendering again ah it's not long enough so we could do one more behind it and then we have the song again. So the other devices I'm going to add another loop. A synthesizer. Well, most people know what a synthesizer is, so I'm just going to do a little thing here. Add a little effect to it. Just give some. Nice. Let me just show you. No. Ah, I forgot this one. Portamento. Just listen how it sounds right now. I change it. Mm 
Do you hear it? It just gives a slight pull on the end of the sound. And we have the modulator and the recording device. The modulator I might have to give a bit more detail on, so I'm just going to save this one for a different time. Maybe the next one, it depends on what you want. Because I can just make anything I uh, can think of. And uh, what I really want to know is what would you like to see first. This is just the basics with the first video and this one. So if there's anything else uh, you'd like to see, what would say like um, I would like to see that one first then just leave a comment and I'll uh, put my attention on that one first because I think we have covered most of the basics in these two tutorials uh, the point of the device uh, or the application is to create a few loops put them in uh, the order you like so you can uh, make transition loops and uh, add another one and just keep on going until um, you reach uh, the maximum and then uh, you can just go like this press publish online then it will say it must be at least 40 seconds long and uh, that's no problem it says here that it's 34 seconds so Let's just copy the beat, otherwise it will sound really strange. Oh, yeah, the submenus. Press and hold. You can do edit, rename, delete, clone and copy. In this case I did copy. You can go back, press on the second loop. Press your menu button. Tap on paste device. And there will be the drum. Let me just play this one. It's going to sound horribly probably. You can hear that it's slightly skipping. Let's see, maybe that's because the transitions delay wasn't set correctly. Still doesn't sound quite perfect to me, but this is the way you can change how the loops connect together. Do it like this. 48 seconds, that's fine with me, at least we can publish it. So I'm gonna press publish. Um, let's do non commercial share alike and then press publish. So it says here that it's going to be published. So we're going to uh, get a notification in the bar or um, an email. Well, I guess this is it for this time. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And if you have any specific uh, things you would like to know, just uh, leave a like and uh, comment on the video. And I will either respond or maybe uh, your question will be the next one to be answered i'll catch you later goodbye